Caribbean Airlines has increased its flight schedule to daily service between Morris Bishop International Airport and Piaco International Trinidad, effective November 26th. Prime Minister Honorable Deacon Mitchell welcomed the increased intra-regional flights, noting the extreme hardship in recent times to move freely between the islands. In speaking with the GIS, Prime Minister Mitchell says the return of a daily flight service between Grenada and Trinidad is a win for our islands, but also a win for the region. What it means is that uh, persons can at least travel um, easier uh, between Grenada and Trinidad. It means, in the case of Grenada, certainly um, increased opportunity for uh, tourists from Trinidad to come to Grenada. Trinidad has been the major source market for intra-regional travel. Uh, it also means, in the case of Grenadians who go to Trinidad for business um, or traffickers, for persons who um, have to travel sometimes even to get things like visas, as you're aware. Quite a number of embassies, for example, Canadian embassies in Trinidad. Um, it means at least there's a greater chance of being able to get to Trinidad. The increase in Caribbean Airlines flights to Grenada, he says, will now allow for greater interconnectivity between Grenada, Canada and the United States. It means you can fly from Grenada to Trinidad and then get the connecting flight to take you to um, some of the international destinations. So it certainly means um, an ease in the significant restrictions and challenges that we've had. Um, and again, um, from a trade point of view, um, we obviously need to be for uh, regional trade and we can't do so if our people can't can't move so it's um, welcome news um, and at least a significant improvement as we come to the end of the year um, a bit of a Christmas gift for for uh, citizens who need to travel advocacy will continue until there is adequate air transport throughout the region we just started this is really just scratching the surface I mean we are not anywhere close to where we were uh, 2019 and for that matter anywhere close to where we were um, in the heyday of what I would call regional travel as you recall, there was once upon a time when it cost $200 to get to Trinidad, and there were several flights, um, and, and not just Trinidad, but throughout the region. So we certainly need, the aim is to get back to that level of service, and, and hopefully, even if it isn't as cheap as $200, at least um, to airfares that are far more affordable and far more manageable. So the advocacy um, will only now begin. Um, so I'm starting by thanking Cal, but I'm also letting them know that I expect um, in the new year um, that we would have even more flights um, uh, being put on, and that is just Trinidad. Grenada. We obviously need to do Grenada, St. Vincent, Barbados, uh, St. Lucia, the Northern Leeuwin Islands, and foot up to the Caribbean when we're looking at Puerto Rico, Cuba, um, places like Panama. I mean, this is all part of the Caribbean, and we have to be able to get to the point where we can travel um, quite easily. Uh, Guyana, Suriname, you know, so there's still a lot of work to be done. The Monday and Friday CAL service will depart in the evenings at 8.15 p.m., arriving at Piaco International at 8.55, offering connectivity to their Red Eye New York service. The Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday flight service departs MBIA at 11.20 a.m. and arrives in Port of Spain at 12 p.m., offering convenient connections to the Toronto flight service.